Good morning to you, wherever it is you're tuning in from. It's great to be able to come and talk to you today and just spend a few moments just reflecting on where we're at uh, in the world at the moment and uh, bringing you a few thoughts from the Bible and hopefully sharing with you some comfort, some peace and some words from the Lord Jesus Christ to still our hearts at a time of great worry. Many people are panicking. We see the outworking of the human heart in a situation like this. And we see what panic and fear leads to. It, it reveals a deep level of selfishness in the human spirit. And, and we all feel this. We all feel that desperation because of everything everyone's saying about what people are buying. And we see the empty shelves and we think, I need to get something for me for my family. Our response to fear is always some kind of self-preserving action. Whereas in the Gospels, Jesus says, fear not the one who can harm the body, but fear the one who can throw body and soul into hell. He's talking about himself. He's talking about the living God. Jesus also says, don't worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. You know, today is enough. We've got a capacity as human beings to really concern ourselves with today. And so in the Lord's Prayer, we're told, pray, give us this day our daily bread. It's a, it's a response of great uh, trust as we look to the living God to give us our daily bread, because tomorrow... I don't know what's going to happen. Tomorrow, I don't know where bread is going to come from. And actually, maybe now, we're starting to see the reality of that here in the West in a way that many Christians uh, throughout the world and throughout church history have known uh, only so well. We see panic. We see fear. And we see what it brings out of us. But Jesus speaks these words and he looks to nature and we've had some beautiful sunny days recently and, and he says, look at the lilies, look at the birds, you know, do the birds really need to worry about things? You know, how much more does the father care about you than he does the birds? He cares loads about you. And so when Jesus says, don't worry. I, I know when, when some people say, don't worry to me, you know, in the history of all things that make me calm down and worry less, it's people saying don't worry isn't one of them. <laughs> but when it's the God who made the universe who says, don't worry, I'll provide for you. You know, look at the birds, look at everything else in creation. I provide. That's what I do. That's my name. That's my nature. When we realise who it is who says that, we can lean into it. It takes a lot. It takes trust. We need to learn that again. We've become very self-sufficient. We've become very not not dependent. We've become very um, kind of reliant on systems and structures that are just gone in an instant like that. They're no more. So people are panicking. People are full of fear. But Jesus says, look, I'm the God who gave you everything. I'm the God who made the world. Come to me. You've got nothing to fear. My arms wrap around you. My heart goes out to you. My love is on you. My blood has paid for you. Do you not think I can also feed you? Do you not think I can also protect you? Do you not think I'll also take you, if you get ill, through death, to my father's house? I can do all those things, he says. Trust me. Lean into this, to all that matters today, and learn perhaps a new level of childlike trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, who made the world and who sustains the world by the word of his power. Keep praying to the Lord. Keep trusting in his provision and let perfect life, truth, and love drive away fear as you draw near to Jesus Christ. If you need anything, 
if you are concerned about anything uh, those of you at the tab have our numbers our email addresses let us know and we'll do what we can we're here for you we're all learning uh, life is changing we're having to pivot very quickly very rapidly to learn how to do things uh, in this day and age that we're in so be patient this is a time where we can really just rally together as people and that side of church we've, been we've talked about loads where we we see that community coming together we've got that teaching behind us now that's this is our opportunity really to put it into practice and to become the church that the Lord wants us to be. So let us know, get in touch. Let us know how we can pray for you. We as elders are, uh, are gonna be ringing up all of the church members uh, in, in our groups uh, that we're elders over and many more beside just to check on you. We will be praying for you regularly in person by name uh, through through Zoom meetings as, as a group of elders, but individually, we're gonna pray for you um, in this time. So thanks for watching today and we'll be back again before too long. God bless you. Bye-bye.